Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ham Radio with K0PIR. And if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button below and then ring that bell so you're notified when I put out a new video. I've done a couple of videos on the ICOM 7610 and ever since I returned home I've been straightening things out. So uh, let's go through the spectrum scope setup. Okay, if you go over to my website, www.k0pir.us, you'll see on the, the home page, the last article I put out was on the ICOM 7610 and the no-fill spectrum. And I've got a sheet on here, if you don't want to read all of it, uh, the sheet. And uh, this comes from another ham, a silent key, and uh, his call sign is November 9 Echo Whiskey Oscar. So the first thing you need to go uh, go to is uh, you can't see the uh, the whole, the solid buttons on the front of the radio, but I'm hitting menu. I'm pushing menu uh, and then set. And uh, the DPD function we went over on the last video. And I just want to show you, I went through the single adjustment. Uh, we're going to open the page. And uh, went through and, and got that all set up. Uh, then at the very end, I think I forgot to tell you uh, to turn it on. And uh, here's the button here. If you hit the menu button, that uh, solid button and then go over and tap DPD either on or off and this does work on uh, uh, USB D uh, so if you're using uh, like FT8 you can turn that on and hopefully it helps out a little bit uh, okay well back to the, uh, this video uh, this one is on the spectrum scope and I'm just gonna hold down the M scope button on the front of the radio and uh, bring that up then I'm gonna press and hold the expand button and we we'll want to go up to the uh, top page one out of three and if you're looking at the image on my website that little document or picture there uh, maximum hold we want to turn that off and uh, I've got that off the, the rest of the settings in here that we don't go through they're just going to be on the default uh, what it uh, normally comes up with so we're just changing what we need to and then uh, the center type uh, display filter center is uh, carrier point ABS and uh, of course we got that set there uh, you get a couple of options and uh, then the averaging uh, we want the averaging off uh, the waveform uh, fill plus line then we're going to go to the second page and this is important the first one uh, the water water form color uh, or the current uh, that's going to be set to uh, zero 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 all the way across and all you have to do is tap on it and then hit the minus to get it to zero and then the uh, waveform color line that one uh, zero two fifty five zero And then this last one, we don't need to bother with it because we're not displaying it anyway. Uh, the waterfall uh, display on and uh, the waterfall size, uh, small. And then uh, the, the peak color level, grid four, that's an important one. Uh, I'll go between three and four on that. Um, then the, the the rest of it uh, the rest of it is just the defaults and what you want to change for your fixed edges but that's the uh, that's what the scope looks like let me go over to 40 meters and uh, get down in the CW portion and you can really see it pop out And I, I've got my RF gain turned down just a little bit, so I turned it up. Okay, and the last thing, after you get everything set up, 
you can change the uh, resolution and the video bandwidth and if, if you're not on this screen maybe you're on menu 1 uh, go to menu 2 and you can if you tap on the resolution you can see how it changes and I usually have mine set on mid or narrow and then the video bandwidth uh, this one uh, you can go wide and uh, I don't uh, care for that much so uh, go with a narrow and uh, my noise floor is right down there at the bottom of the blue line uh, my uh, reference is zero reference level zero and boy this uh, this spectrum scope really helps out especially if you're operating CW so I hope that helps please remember to like subscribe and share also tell your friends uh, 73 and good DX.